What's up, y'all? It's the Amazing Bacon, and I'd like to welcome you guys back. And first and foremost, I just want to say thank you for the support you guys have been showing. Channel's been growing great, and I really, truly appreciate it. So if you guys could, I'd appreciate any likes, comments, subscribes, anything like that. But we're going to get to it after the intro, and we're going to jump right into it, all right? Welcome back, guys. I've been a fan of UpChurch for quite a while. I actually subscribed to him back when he had something like 12,000 fans or something like that. Um, and I had gotten a little bit away from listening to him, and it really hasn't even been on purpose. I swear, every time he's come out with a song, it's I've been in the field or I've been working or whatever. Just like with this song, whenever it came out, I was on a 24-hour shift, and it just something always came up that I wasn't able to react to his songs. It was suggested to me. And I think that anybody that's watched this channel for a little while knows I'm a huge Tom McDonald fan. There's been a lot of people clamoring for Upchurch and Tom McDonald to do a collaborative song. And so Upchurch remixed his song Traveler and turned it into Travelers with Tom McDonald and Struggle Jennings. So we're going to get straight to it and see what we think. All right, guys. I'm a traveling gypsy, tipsy off weed and rye whiskey, whistling the silence at night as the ghost emerge from the thick weed, drifting in clothing they had when they left this world years ago. So they tiptoe in head, but nervous cause they still ain't their norm. They seen the light, but then travel got stuck in the past to explore. Maybe we are in the past, that means the future is more, or maybe the future is present. And before us, this question, if that's the case, who do we ask when we need backwards direction? I mean, there's a meaning for action, you especially want So, real quick, for those of you guys that don't know Upchurch, um, Upchurch is unashamed of who he is, where he comes from. He's a Tennessee boy through and through, and a lot of his lyrics kind of hit home for me because I'm from southeast Missouri in the middle of nowhere, so I'm country as hell, y'all. Um, I don't believe that I have an accent, but a lot of people tell me I do, so that if you guys have picked up on one, that's why, because I'm pretty much from the middle of nowhere, but anyways... Upchurch has always been one of those guys, he, he, he's not ashamed of the fact that he's Southern, that, you know, he's white and all of this stuff, and that rubs a lot of people the wrong way, because in today's society, he's the type of person that a lot of people dislike, and so I think that that's where a lot of his aggressiveness and his attitude comes from, and his lyrics is just the fact that he's always kind of had to fight to get what he has, and now that he's starting to get something, there's a lot of people that continue to hate on that, so just to give you guys kind of a mindset of where he's coming. Yeah, I think there's one good thing, and I know that this is Sterl Jennings singing here, but he said that he wants to reach the public, not just be a public figure. And that's one thing that I really do like about Upchurch is the fact that he feels like he speaks for the people, he speaks from the heart, 
and he does talk about kind of that lesser known demographic of people that you know honestly let's be real here you look at like city folk or whatever and they want to look down on people from the country as being less smart less educated being stupid and you know inbred and all this other stuff that i know that you guys have heard you know exactly what i'm talking about and he has put it out there that the struggles and all the issues that we face as rural people are very real and we're not just these stereotypes that people say because you know we're all human on the inside and i think that that's one good thing about it with the whole mindset of wanting to reach the public and not just be a public figure like anybody can be out there and be famous and stuff like that but it's whether you're doing it with conviction and whether you're actually reaching people that makes a difference on who you are as a human being you know what i mean Fail, train to success, was derailed Put my journey in a song, inspire you with details In the field searching for seashells No ocean was in sight But I saw it in my heart and kept believing I was right Fight for what's mine and what's not I'll go and earn, blazing a trail through the south Trying not to get burned. He was a traveler in the feathers of vultures that wait to eat around my grave i like that because all right so i'll get into it more at the end of the song but i just think that it's awesome that guys like this can get together and make music together because they come from such drastically different backgrounds um i'll be honest with you i don't know anything about struggle jennings i i've heard the name but that's basically it um but just the fact that a lot of people did publicly like beg literally beg for up church and tom mcdonald to make a video together to make a song together and now it's actually come to fruition i think that that's incredible and like i said at the end i'll get into more of how i feel specifically about that but i do like that line about you know collecting the feathers of vultures that gather around my grave to eat and i know that that's not verbatim but basically that's that's what he was saying there and you know you hear a lot of people just say oh well over my dead body or whatever but people like up church people like tom mcdonald and apparently struggle jennings like they mean it like they're gonna give it they're all they're gonna push themselves and they're gonna make it happen if it kills them and there's gonna be haters there's gonna be people swarming around you and saying that it's not gonna happen and sometimes you just gotta stack those people up and you gotta knock those people down and gather the feathers of the people that just want to see you fail Devils disguised as my friends are pretending they're better men Collecting the feathers of vultures that patiently wait for a meal at my grave Will tell my tale around campfires if you listen close though He was a traveler guys so to wrap up this whole video and to get back to what i was talking about earlier i didn't know what to expect out of this song for the simple fact that yes upchurch tom mcdonald they rap 
and they have a very distinct sound, but they have two very, very different sounds. Tom McDonald is much more of that kind of, obviously it's a rap, but it's also got a little bit more of those rock influences. He's done actual rock songs with Ashes, um, a lot more that he's explored into now, but he also has a lot of that kind of juggalo, kind of twisted influence that comes from working with Nova. And so there's a whole different background of music there. Whereas Upchurch, he is one of the big, like, kind of purveyors of the hip hop movement. And for those of you guys that don't know what hip hop is, it's basically exactly what it sounds like. It's hip hop mixed with hip music. And it's taking music that sounds like something that you're going to hear out of a honky tonk, out of a bar, out in the middle of the country, and you're mixing it with rap sounds and influences. And so that's what I was getting at earlier. When you're talking about these guys coming together, Tom is Canadian, and I don't know where he's from, but obviously Canada to Tennessee is a long distance anyways. So the fact that these guys were able to come together, whether it was, you know, through satellite communications or actually came together, I'm, I have no idea. I would imagine at some point they're going to put out a music video and they're going to meet up together. But the fact that they were willing to listen to what so many fans wanted and the fact that they were willing to come together and not only that, but they made a song that sounded so damn good says a lot. It said a good message. It really put it out there and they took an original song in Traveler from Upchurch, and they remixed it and turned it into an entirely different sounding song, and the results were incredible. Um, like I said, I don't think anybody that's watched this channel could ever doubt that I'm a huge Tom McDonald fan because he is unashamedly him. That's exactly how Upchurch is, and honestly, I'm a little bit like bothered by the fact that like 135 videos into my channel and I had somehow managed to not do an Upchurch song. Because he speaks for a lot of people, like I said, like me. I am from five miles outside of a village of 200 people. Like, you had to drive an hour to get to the nearest Walmart, the nearest McDonald's, any of that stuff. I'm from the middle of freaking nowhere. And you always hear people that want to come from small towns like that, and they want to pretend to be something that they're not. You hear a lot of, like, rap artists that come out, and they're singing like they're all hard, or rapping like they're all hard and everything, and it's like, dude, your next door neighbor is a cow. Like, what the hell are you rapping about? Upchurch is different because he makes the raps real, relatable, and stuff to the people that are from that lifestyle. It's something you don't hear every day. It's something that is getting bigger the more and more that he comes out, the more he collabs with other people, and you also have these other artists that are starting to come onto the scene, and a lot of people heard this Old Town Road, and they're like, oh, that's hip hop and all this stuff. No, that's BS. Upchurch is one of the original people to ever do the sound, and when people would put him down and make fun of him and everything, he would always say, this is going to be something someday, and nobody wanted to listen. And now he's got like 1.4 million followers or something like that. A long, long way from whenever I started listening to him at like 12,000 followers. And it's because he's true, he's genuine, he's real, he has substance, and he can tell a story about people and where they come from that a lot of other people can't because he's been there, he's walked that walk, he's lived that life, he has a way of putting it into words that people like me appreciate because that's where we come from too. So, I'm not going to bother you guys anymore. I'm going to pop up a couple of previews right now. On one side is going to be Skyrim because I'm trying to get more viewers on my Skyrim Sundays where it's completely immersive. I do the voice acting and everything. It's full of mods. It's unlike any Skyrim that you've seen before. It's fully immersive and does things that I have never, ever experienced in Skyrim, so it's like a brand new game. On the other side, I'm just going to ge randomly generate a video that I've put out recently that I would like for you guys to see. And of course, down below is that little bubble that's going to pop up to be a subscription. If you could click any of those, I would appreciate it. If you would like, comment, subscribe, continue to help this channel grow. I really, really, really appreciate that you guys are doing that. It means a lot to me. And until next time, I'm the Amazing Bacon. I'll talk to you guys later.